During this season of Motorcycle Experience, we've asked reporter Aliki Karian to explore the current crop of motorcycle training options out there for those of you who have been thinking about perhaps taking up the sport of motorcycling. For the past couple of weeks, Aliki's been exploring one of the most direct routes we know to getting your motorcycle license, a traditional Ministry of Transport approved rider training course. This week, however, Aliki has come up with a really interesting alternative to getting into the sport of motorcycling, dirt riding. That's right, how about a day in the dirt? More specifically, taking a school at the Ontario Off-Road Adventure Facility, located about an hour east of Toronto in the Ganaraska Forest. Headed up by Chief Instructor Steve Waycamp, the Trail Tour School has been operating for some 16 years and trains over 3,000 riders each summer. So let's say you've never ridden a motorcycle, you don't own any riding gear, but you'd like to see what riding a motorcycle is all about before making the bigger commitment to riding your motorcycle exam. Well, this just may be the course for you, because it doesn't get any more turnkey than this. So how long would you say it takes for somebody who's never sat on a, motor, or a motorbike before or a dirt bike before? How long does it take them to learn the clutch and actually start riding around with some confidence? If they're a true beginner, mm -hmm. um, we get them through a curriculum and in the morning for, for two hours we do drill after drill, exercise after exercise, and we get them to a point where they're quite confident. But every single person is different. So every individual gets treated individually and we make sure that they're all um, learning at their level, even within that beginner group. So some people take on to things really quickly, other people it takes them a while to get it. So we just try to work with people. And uh, normally at noon, you know, after lunch, we get back out and we actually hit trail. Not wide, or not single track or nothing too extreme, but it's, it's wide, nice, you know, maybe 10, 11, 12 feet wide. And we get them under the trails and they just experience what this Ganaraska has to offer. 11,000 acres, about 200 kilometers of trails. It's a beautiful place. And then they have the best of everything. They got the experience of trail riding, they got all the training, and uh, they have a really good day. You know what I found really cool is that all I had to do was just show up with my credit card. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah. And uh, it's something we take major pride in because it's one of the only places that you can do that at. Um, we have the all-you-can-eat lunch. We got all the riding gear from head to toe. There's about $1,600 worth of riding gear that we provide. And uh, the bikes, of course, are provided. And uh, if you go a lot of other places, they end up giving you a crowdy, crowdy little helmet, uh, open face, maybe a pair of goggles if you're lucky, mm -hmm. maybe a pair of gloves and that's it, and they just let you go. And, uh, but, you know, it doesn't really work very well that way because you get a lot of injuries and we're making sure that we give the customers what they need. You need to have elbow pads, knee pads, chest protectors, boots, the right equipment, helmet, goggles, gloves. It makes all the difference for a oh, yeah. good experience. For an absolute beginner, would you recommend this as a great way to learn to ride or get a taste for riding? I think it would be an amazing way to get a taste for riding. Uh, not only are you learning things that you wouldn't on a street bike course, but uh, it's setting you up for a, a really enjoyable, positive, uh, I think it would be much more enjoyable time at the street bike course mm -hmm. once you did get there, because you'll be well ahead of all the other students and you'll be able to handle the bike's major controls, the clutch, brake and throttle, but you'll also be able to handle all the things that they don't know about and that's uh, traction control and clutch control and things like that. So it, it's very much an important factor, I think. Well, thanks very much for taking your time to talk to me. You're very welcome. <laughs>